Okay, spoiler alert, I think that's what I'm supposed to do. If you haven't seen the uh, season premiere of Walking Dead, I guess I'm going to give some of it away, so uh, don't watch this video, I guess. I think that's the proper thing to do. Um, th that show has so many holes in its writing, it drives me crazy. I keep saying I'm going to quit watching it, but I keep watching it. Um, perfect example, I think you've heard some of my blogs, those are, that watch them all. You know, I've talked about I'm never going to be tied up, I'm never going to be restrained. Um, you know, we talk about home invasion plans and that sort of thing and that's a perfect example um, once they were restrained and had no weapons they were completely at the mercy of ne whatever his name is Negan Negan they were completely at his mercy um, they put them completely they put their safety into the psychopath's hands I mean if he had any remorse or any decency they wouldn't be in that situation and yet their plan now is hope and to me, hope is never a plan. They're hoping that he doesn't choose them, but they sat there and watched him, you know, choose a couple others. Um, if they would have went back, you know, to the season finale last year, when they had weapons in their hands, yes, they were outnumbered. Yes, they were surrounded. But in my opinion, you fight then. Um, you have, even if it's a 0.01% chance, you have a chance. Once you're restrained, once they've surrounded you, once they have guns to your head, um, you got 0%. Now it's in their hands. So, you know, again, one of my go buttons is I won't be restrained. I won't be uh, tied up, for example. I don't care if there's five guys standing around me with shotguns. I'm going then. At least it's still in my hands. It might only be a 0.01% chance of surviving that. But, you know, if I wait and get tied up and I've got guns to my head, then it's a 0% chance if they want it to be a 0% chance. So my thought is always let's fight and let's fight now. Um, while they still had their weapons, they could have been firing, maybe get a hole, maybe some of them get out. Instead of, you know, the season premiere, he could have went and bashed them all in the skull if he wanted to. He could have picked more than two of them. And are you going to sit there and watch that if that's your family? You know, when I talk about home invasions, it's like, no, that's not going down. I don't care who they're threatening. You know, they got a gun to my kid's head and threatening. They've got us surrounded. Uh, I'm fighting then. You know what? I, I assume if I charge this dude, he's going to take the gun from my kid's head and point it at me. Well, cool. <laughs> then we're in a fight, and I'm going to win that fight. Um the home invaders are, are horrible, so, you know, we have home invader drills with our children. Um, someone yells, home invader, we all get out. You know, we have fire drills. Home invasions happen four times more than house fires. So we all scatter. We all get through windows and doors um, as I'm putting myself in between the danger and the family. Now the scumbags know they got five or ten minutes to react uh, rather than what they had planned, you know, the entire night of you watching your family tortured and they kill you all anyhow. Again, uh, hoping that this person isn't going to do us damage and, and submitting and being restrained. Um, oh, it's a terrible plan in my opinion. You know, again, I am going now, I'm going hard. I teach, you know, women self-defense. The split second you know you're in danger, that's when you react. You go then, you go hard, you go till one of the two of you are unconscious. And it's going to be the scumbag we train. Um, if you wait a little bit, uh, you're restrained. If you wait a little bit longer, they've moved you to a secondary location where they have, you know, all the time in the world to do whatever it was they wanted to do. Um, I'm not going to go through that. I'm not going to watch any of my family go through that. So my mind setting and my go buttons tells me uh, I fight hard the split second I know there's a problem. Because waiting on a good time, waiting on a better time, that's never going to happen. You know, the best time you have is right then in that split second. Um, oh, for instance, if we're oh, in, a, in a room, several of us, and, and some terrorists burst in with assault rifles, uh, the only chance any of us have of getting out is that split second. We scatter, we go through doors, windows. If we wait 30 seconds, they have us surrounded. If we wait 30 more seconds, they start tying us up. And, you know, there's never waiting on a good time to react. There is no good time. This is a horrible situation. Waiting on a better time, it never happens. It just gets worse and worse and worse as they, just like in The Walking Dead, they had them all on their knees, they had them surrounded, they had weapons to their heads. There was nothing they could do then. Uh, nothing at all. When they should have reacted was right when they knew there was danger and they still had friggin' weapons in their hands. So again, we got a mindset, we got to think about this stuff before it happens. Mark Slane, United States Krav Maga Association.